What's going on everyone for today's video we're going to be reading over the patch notes of 1.12 patch notes from the past Friday I believe from this past Friday they changed the game a little bit did a few armor tuning changes and concussion changes finally and I haven't been able to play the game since I've been in school but essentially I've wanted to and I haven't had time but that should be no excuse. I'm gonna to try to upload as much as I can to the YouTube channel either way. So no excuse of me not uploading for a week and a half. I apologize for that. But I am in currently in the College of Business in a university and I'm in my last semester and there's this class called Strategic Management. Just, if you're in the College of Business, you guys probably understand <laughs> that, that last class I don't, I don't understand if it's my only, only this university does this, but it's, this class just incorporates everything that we've learned so far. And we have to like remember things from accounting, which is like super tedious, tedious, finance, marketing. I don't mind the other ones. It's just the accounting part that I'm kind of iffy about, but yeah, they're incorporating everything about our business into one. So if anyone's interested in that, I guess, I guess I told you now, but. Yeah, that's why I've been so busy. I've been reading a bunch of articles and that's why I haven't uploaded. So I apologize for that, but we're back. <laughs> I'm trying to get organized again. And I wanted to reach, I wanted to read the patch notes. There's a few new patch notes. Let me pull them up here. They did on the 25th and it's patch 1.12. It says tuning for armor, concussions and cluster grenades and blackout. We'll be implementing a new round of tuning changes to blackout with this update, including reduced damage protection for armor across the board, level one through three. So that means less ding 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 ding, ding. <laughs> less of that noise, hopefully, and more of the kill. Level three armor will no longer include additional damage protection against explosions and melee attacks. That's interesting. Level 3 armor will no longer include additional damage protection against explosions and melee attacks. This whole time, level 3 armor had additional da- Oh my god. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. That should have been eliminated since the beginning. Like, level 3 armor can protect you from grenades? <laughs> I didn't- That's- I didn't know that. Okay. Increased armor plate requirements to repair level 3 armor. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna fix the problem. Level 3 armor is pretty- buffed out already I mean I guess in the heat of the moment if you know you're fighting somebody with level 3 armor and they're behind a rock or behind cover they can't they can't repair their armor fast enough so I guess that's good but at the same time you can still repair it fully hopefully the changes that they're gonna make for the reduced damage across all the armors is gonna help out for that reduce status effect duration area of effect radius and throw distance for concussion grenades. Oh my god, that's so, that's awesome. Finally, I gotta see it in person though. Gotta, I gotta feel it for myself. Gotta feel it for myself, you know? I don't know, concussion grenades have been the worst thing in this game for the past three, four months. It's just horrible. You could just throw that like near anyone's feet. You're blind for four seconds, you're a sitting duck, and if you have multiple concussion grenades, you just stack them up and you blind the enemy forever <laughs> and then take your time to get to the person and then kill them it's just concussion grenades shouldn't be in the game regardless hopefully they nerf them down completely to like one second or two seconds or maybe hear me out they should probably let you move when you you know are concussed for a second or two seconds that's what I think. They should probably let you move and you know, cause since you're not able to move whenever you get concussed, you're only holding your weapon and you're holding your hand out and you see a bright white flash. It's kind of, it's kind of stupid in my opinion, but more options to outplay attackers when hit by, okay. That's exactly what I was talking about. More options to outplay attackers when hit by a concussion grenade. Okay. Awesome. Increased time to detonate for cluster grenades. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people complained about that. I wasn't, I was complaining about it too, but there is times where 
it comes down to the final circle and then they just throw a cluster grenade at your feet and then you just die because you can't do anything you can't move away from it you can't out maneuver it like the cluster grenade is just going to go off immediately and they need to they needed to change the the time it was going to detonate so that's good damage reduction for mini cluster grenade explosions mm. mini cluster grenade that's good as well that's good as well they did a lot of other changes to the other modes as well for the playstation 4 but main changes are for blackout are, are those but I guess we can explain what we were doing here. I had a Damien and a shotgun, and I was making sure to play the zone, and I was watching every single corner. I decided to go inside this garage, and I was trying to immediate, immediately clear the garage, and I wasn't trying to give anybody else an advantage, because I knew there was people close. You know, I, I knew there was two other people left, so I didn't want to take the chance. So I was waiting out the circle, watching all the windows, making sure, oh, by the way, the Damon, this Damon, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This SMG is OP, man. Holy crap. I, I didn't put this in my top five, but it's definitely my top 10 weapons. Holy crap. That guy wasn't kidding. There was a comment left by this guy. He was, he was pretty pissed off that I left this weapon out, but this weapon is pretty good. I, I had my moments with it. You know, I didn't get all that many. Oh no, there's five. There's fuck. <laughs> there's there's four people left. I don't know why I was looking at my kills. I got a low kill game in this one. And I was making sure to watch everything. And I had to play differently from what I did. Like, I usually play with a shotgun, or excuse me, with an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. Or an assault rifle and SMG and here I had to play differently I had to since I had an SMG and the mog which is the pump shotgun I had to really play close quarters type style you know just wait for people I, that doesn't mean I was always hiding you know as you can see in the other part of the video I was trying to be as aggressive as possible but right here it was really risky for me to do that because when it comes down to the final circle or the collapse you don't want to make that much noise because then you're going to tell everyone where you are and they're just going to be holding the angle. And that's exactly what you don't want to do. You want to move with a circle when it's coming in. As, as, the, circle is come, as, as, as the circle is closing in, you want to keep moving, you know, and then just keep watching that 180. Since your back is to the wall, you just have to watch that 180 and you'd be fine. But yeah, that's what I was doing throughout this whole this whole process. And then I heard people on top of this warehouse, and that's when I decided to engage. Because I wanted to get a few kills before I won the game, of course. I knew I was gonna win this game. I was I was confident enough as long as I made sure to watch the corners and watch my surroundings, I was gonna be able to win the game. There was this guy right here. Did I try to axe me? I just realized that. And then Somebody stole my kill. I think that was the guy on top of that tower. That's why I jumped off immediately. But yeah, immediately that wasn't a good play, so I decided to go back down here and wait for the collapse to come in again. As, as you can see, I'm just watching my surroundings and making sure nobody's getting close. Nobody with dead silence. And then I waited till like the last second. I healed up and I heard gunshots right below me. And I noticed where the last shot was coming from, so I started started to look for the last guy, and he was right, right here. And yeah, ended up just going down. Took the <laughs> it's freaking awesome. If you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.